Supermassive Gains, British game studio bought by Danish investor Nordic. Did we hear about this before? Where do we know this from? Where do we know it? Uh, they had a game that was uh, supposed to come out on Stadia, right? Is that the one? Until done and the quarry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is the quarry. It has been purchased by Nordisk Games. This is the seventh gaming company currently owned by a Danish firm. By the Danish firm. The company also owns Avalanche Studios, a Swedish group which developed the Just Cause series as well as Mad Max and Rage 2. Okay, that's a good one. I like Rage 2. The purchase follows the company buying 30.7% of Supermassive Games back in, 20, in March 2021. This is when the UK-based studio technically joined the Nordisk family. However, it was announced today, July 12th, that Nordisk now owns the studio 100%. CEO of Supermassive Games, Pete Samuels, released a statement about the purchase saying, having had such a positive experience over the past year, it wasn't a difficult decision when Nordisk Games wanted to explore increasing their investment. We have an exciting and ambitious growth strategy for Supermassive Games and Nordisk Games ownership only enhances that. I'm hugely excited about where the security offered by this partnership and continued access to the expertise within Nordisk Games will take us next. Supermassive Games' most recent game, The Quarry, came out in June to positive reviews. Womp, womp, womp. There we go. I see Stadia. It was the fourth best-selling game in the UK the week it came out, with the vast majority of sales coming from PlayStation users. Aside from developing its own game, Supermassive Games also works on projects for other studios. Working with Japanese publisher Bandai Namco, the studio ported Little Nightmares 2 to Google Stadia. Oh, okay, okay. So they're doing, uh, they're doing the porting. And created an enhanced version of the game for PS5, Xbox Series XS, and PC. Nordisk Games was initially created to invest in game companies from Nordic countries such as Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden. However, Supermassive Games is not the first non-Nordic company to have been bought by Nordisk Games. In 2020, the firm purchased Mercury Steam, a Spanish developer best known for creating Metroid, Samus Returns. Supermassive Games is currently working on The Devil in Me, the fourth game in its Dark Picture anthology. At the time of writing, there is no specific release date for the game, but the company has said it will come out in autumn this year. Okay. It's very interesting. So they did the porting, right? So I'm assuming since their relationship... I wonder if their relationship got frail or got... Uh, Oh man, so they, they had like a insight on the porting system. That kind of sucks, man. That kind of sucks. Yeah, so that that kind of stuff Google should have picked up. If they ported somebody else's game into Google Stadia, uh, they should have picked them up before these guys did. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I can be mad at that.